How did you wait? How did you end your? Or how are you? How did you end? I said it? go Tigers. Go Tigers. <clears throat> Hold on, I need to think about what are you asking me about inside politics. Why did you want to start it? You know, type of thing. Um... <clears throat> okay, we'll just wing it. That's what we do. Now you are. What? <laughs> Okay. I can't work under these conditions. <laughs> I, I don't know shocking. what to do. Does Ron's this shocking. look too casual? Just, yeah. Uh, what should just I do then, Jack? Because your shoulders just are low. Just be there. No, put your hands back down. Be the cool, <laughs> smooth person that you are. Ha! That's not. Nope, I'm not. I, that's the. Mm -hmm. You ready? No. Yeah, maybe. Am I supposed to look at you? <laughs> oh, okay. And then when do I look at you? Whenever you say, well, that's eye opening. I'm gonna look at you. Yeah. Yeah, why don't you just go in there? <laughs> what is that? Into? What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> just how I normally am. Oh, okay. Why are they being so loud in the halls? <laughs> I don't like it. Get him, Cheyenne. Oh, Get him. Like huh. Put the sh on him. Yeah. Give him that sh. Is it fresh, man? Hey, tell them we're gonna send Deja out in a second. Right. <laughs> well, you guys are you guys are quite the duo, and you got it. Yep. You did it. We did. And I, you taught her. Her? Uh, oh, <laughs> sorry. Let's see. <laughs> yeah. I was taught her. Yeah. Her. Like the fog is lifted, and at last I've seen the light. And it's like the sky is new. Ooh! Wow! Yay! Yeah. I'm so happy I hit record. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just pee your pants? I don't know what that look means. No. I just nerfed That's the look my daughter gives me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't pee my pants. <laughs>to a special senior episode of Wildcat TV. I'm Matt Marble. This year's seniors have been awesome for us all year long and in Wildcat TV tradition, they got to have complete creative control over their final senior stories. Now, first up, we've got... Carol. Hello? Where are you? This is, this is embarrassing. What? You're... you're in a car? Honestly, I don't know any of these songs. Can you turn it up on your phone? The first. It's going to... Oh, that was bad. Nailed it. Hello? <laughs> Why are you in a suit? Because, uh, I have to go to that awards thing tonight. Hello? Hey! Get in. Get in. What is that? Sorry, I didn't know. Oh. This is my only friends outside of Wildcat TV, so like, I just wanted to showcase them in the last episode. Also, I haven't plugged my YouTube channel for the whole year, and I'm finally doing this because it's the I'm last so episode. So, if you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel, I'm doing this, and I am not ashamed. Follow it. It's right yes. here. Yes. Okay, now we're going to get started. <laughs> This is fire. Whoop dee dee scoop. No. This is whoop dee dee scoop. Whoop. You wake up flawless, pulse up flawless, round round neck flawless, passing on neck flawless, this diamond flawless, my diamond flawless, this rock flawless, my rock flawless. I woke up like this. I woke up like this. We flawless, ladies. Play it, play it. Can we at least get the bass drops? No, play it. Who is this? Chris Brown? No, it's the weekend. The weekend. Oh. What? <gasps> Carolyn, get out. Call and take over. <laughs> Leave her. She can get back to her house from here. Go. What was that? <laughs> 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 
Uh, Carolyn uh, might be the worst driver I've seen. In my wow! Life. Is she? She has the the courtesy to come pick you up and treat you to a nice musical uh, function, and she didn't even have an ox. Oh my! <laughs> I have a USB cord. It's I've goodbye. Oh, oh man. Uh, so what song do we all know every uh, word to? That doesn't matter. That's not the point. It's to experience That is the point. New. That is, is the is point. Experience. It's karaoke. Idiot. It's the point of... <laughs> yeah, we got it going on, got it going on. Man, it feels so good to be us. Yeah, we got it going on, got it going on. Man, it feels so good to be us. Yeah, yeah, we got it going on, got it going on. Solid. Okay, why are we playing the song with none of us now? Why don't we? Uh, half the people in this car know this. Uh, I can't think of what location sounds like. We'll just play it, you'll know it. Okay! Ah! Are we yeah. gonna turn up or is this as loud as we can? Yeah. Okay, fine! Thank you. Welcome. Do that with your steering wheel. Yeah. Send me your location, let's focus on communicating, cause I just need the time and place to come through. some awesome awesome performances thank you that was really good thank you what um what was your favorite performance that you guys did um i think grenade by bruno mars cause we all knew all the song or all the lyrics to the song it was just really fun being with my girls so there you go and that's i mean that's what friends do yeah. right you get together and you do that sort of mm -hmm. stuff and put on amazing concerts in your car yeah. it was a lot of fun yeah it was so that was good that was a great way to start <laughs> off the show uh now carolyn as you know this is obviously the Carolyn Clark <laughs> is here, and um, Carolyn, you've been into a lot of um, the fashion, makeup, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, we, you did a lot of those things on Wildcat TV. What kind of draws you to to, to that industry or, or those things? Um, well, I know a lot of people say that um, it's like to express express themselves and everything, and like, mm -hmm. yeah, I agree with that. But I just really like clothes, and I just like how you can put an outfit together and you can make it look however you want, and I just look I like how it like flatters people's bodies and I honestly just really like clothes yeah yeah and and what do you think about my fashion honestly it's right great here. really yeah for it for a teacher you're doing you're doing great. for a teacher the qualifier <laughs> for a teacher you're doing great honestly I forgot we were doing this today and so I didn't even think about what I was gonna wear but you're saying it's okay yeah I mean I you feel got better some funky about socks myself. going on I do have some funky socks so it was a gift. I really don't have fashion, but I have a wife who can pick out some clothes sometimes. Yeah, honestly, my fashion has gone way downhill. This is like <laughs> a step up for my senior year. You know, it's usually leggings and a sweatshirt, so. That's okay. Senioritis yeah. hits in all forms. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it really does. <laughs> now, you have, uh, not only have you done obviously a lot for Wildcat TV, but you have your own YouTube channel. I do. Yeah, and so yeah. tell us a little bit about that. Um, so my YouTube channel started off, uh, I've had it for about a year now, so it started off being like makeup videos, and I quickly realized I don't wear makeup on a daily basis, and there's only so much you can do with makeup without being like a makeup artist. So I kind of switched more into fashion, and then I realized not everybody has money to like buy clothes all the time and you can't mm -hmm. some of the stuff that I have is from like a while ago so it's hard to get so I've kind of transitioned transitioned it into doing just like vlogs mm -hmm. and I've done a lot with not a lot but I've done some stuff with like graduation I'm going to be doing a lot of college videos and mm -hmm. kind of like just kind of bringing 
my YouTube channel with my life now because I feel like that's kind of the most timeless thing for you to do is to just kind of bring it along with your life without kind of just sticking to one thing because if you're a teenager, obviously your fashion is going to be completely different than when you're in your 20s mm -hmm. or 30s even. Yeah. It, and so um, it just kind of like is a more timeless thing to bring your life along with you and show it to people. Yeah, and yeah. you've had some good success with that. Yeah, I mean, I the, the last year's prom video right. like just blew up. Yeah, it has, I think now it has like 283,000 views, which, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm so serious. <laughs> there you go. You got to um, put the plugs out there. You really do. I did it in uh, my story, as you saw earlier. But um, yeah, I have... I think I have the most successful YouTube channel at this school. I could be wrong, but I have a little over 3,000 subscribers now. So it's not the best thing, but I mean, it's a start, so. Yeah, yeah. and is that something that you wanna do in the future? Is yeah. That, kind I've, of make that your career? Yeah, so uh, ever since I was in like sixth grade, that's been like, I wanna be a YouTuber. Like that's all I wanna do. I think it's the coolest thing that you can travel, show your life, do whatever you want to do and get paid for it. And so I just, you can be as creative as you want and you get paid for it. So that's honestly like, that would be the ideal situation. It yeah. would be to be a YouTuber. So. We've definitely got a good start on that. Yeah. Uh, now, what is the favorite thing, transitioning back to kind of thinking about Wildcat TV, which mm -hmm. we're a little bit of a mix of school news and YouTube. We try right. to have a little bit of a balance there. What's one of the favorite things that you've worked on for Wildcat TV? Um, every time I anchor, I always really like it. I think my favorite one was um, anchoring with Cheyenne, just because she's like my really good friend, and we had a lot of fun doing it, and we laughed at our own jokes, even though nobody else laughed at them, but it was still a really fun time to do that. So. Oh, and Cheyenne is holding the boom right now, and yeah. she's trying not to cry. I can see her <laughs> tearing up as we speak. <laughs> That's awesome. What do you think is one of your favorite? Now she won't even look at us. She's turning away oh. so she doesn't cry. That's all right. It's so oh, sweet. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what is your one of your some of or one of your favorite memories from just your Wildcat TV experience? Um, the food days are always so legendary. Um, <laughs> I really liked the senior episode last year, um, mm -hmm. and the senior episode this year is obviously going to be amazing. Um, and just like I don't know, hanging out with my friends every day, and everybody here is just the greatest people and they're all so nice and so supportive so you can pretty much like 100% be yourself in here and everybody's so supportive of it so just being in here every day is like a really great memory and please don't cry Cheyenne <laughs> <laughs> that's all right well Carolyn we appreciate you being yourself in here and bringing your talents and your skills to Wildcat TV and showing that creativity and diving into the the things that you love and being passionate about those we really appreciate that and Good luck on all the YouTube stuff. Thank you. Again, you gotta like and subscribe. And and Thanks. what's what's the name again? Uh, well, actually, it's uh, YouTube.com/slash/c/slash/thecarmelblonde. So there we go. You can subscribe. Please subscribe. All right, Kaylin. Well, this is okay. This is the end of the first interview, and so we'll get the we'll get the awkward like hug thing. You go. And then the bell. The bell is like our nemesis here at Wildcat TV. Mm -hmm. But that's okay. We're not going to let the bell stop this okay. awkward hug that's about to happen. <laughs> oh. Here we go. Thank you so much, Carolyn. You're welcome. My head hit the boom. That's all right. Bye, guys. Now we have got, next up, we've got the first edition of Inside MU mm -hmm. with... Rianda Wenther. Rianda Wenther. Check it out. <laughs> welcome to a special edition of something I like to call Inside Mizzou. Usually I report on the top five political news stories of the week, but for the senior episode, I decided to switch it up. Since I'll be attending the University of Missouri this August, I thought it would be fun to discuss the top five things I like most about Mizzou. I'm Rianda Wenther, let's get started. Beginning with number five, downtown Columbia. It's not your typical downtown of a city, with unique restaurants on every corner, clothing boutiques, coffee shops, even an underground bookstore. Downtown Columbia is the place to be on the weekends. There's never a dull moment there and you'll always be able to find something to do. Number four, Mizzou football games. The atmosphere and energy at the football games is something you can't find anywhere else. Surrounded by your fellow students, alumni, and die-hard fans, every game, win or lose, is such a fun time. It's also a plus when you get to dress in your black and gold outfits and wear the cute tiger ears on your head. Number three, CJ's. If you've never heard of CJ's, you're missing out. CJ's has the best chicken wings in all of Columbia. If you're ever looking to eat the best wings, go to CJ's. Number two, the columns. 
If you've ever been to Mizzou or even seen pictures, you know these are the symbol of the school. The six giant columns are an iconic spot on campus. You can study there, picnic, do yoga, or just enjoy the weather. I'm most looking forward to being able to go there and just study and relax on the column's base. And finally, number one, the J School. Formerly known as the Journalism School, it's notably known for being the first journalism school in the world, opening its doors in 1908. Several nationally known individuals in the news industry have graduated from this school, and it even works with more than 10 professional organizations allowing students to interact with working journalists and news-related organizations. I'm most looking forward to being a student of this school and furthering my career in strategic communication. I'm excited for all the great opportunities I'll have there. See, what's not to love about Mizzou? Thank you for tuning in to this unique segment. I'm Rianda Wenther, and go Tigers. All right, go Tigers. <laughs> M-M-I-Z. I'm so awkward, I'm sorry. Aren't you supposed to say Z-O-U? Yes. You've got to get this down if you're going to go to M-U next year. I know. Year. <laughs> okay. All right, well, I'm standing here with Rianda Wenther from Inside, Inside Politics, Politics with Rianda Wenther. Yes. Did you ever, um, was it ever awkward, like, how many times you, like, said your name? Um, not really. Everyone would joke and make jokes about it, but I always thought it was funny. And I thought, like, the more times I said it, it made it better. So yeah. I liked saying my name a lot in it. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Inside Politics was one of the segments that you created. Mm -hmm. I mean, you were the creator of it last year, mm -hmm. and it's something that we've, we've carried over to this year. What inspired you to start Inside Politics? Um, I really just wanted to educate the students in the school and the district than anyone watching it about political news. So much that you see on social media is um, very biased mm -hmm. and it's based around like your bubble of what you follow and so you're never really getting both sides. And inside politics I made sure to get both sides and be very factual and fact-based and I researched all my stories so everyone was getting just the truth and I kept it very short and minimal so it got straight to the point. Yeah, which was really good and very difficult to do because you have strong political mm -hmm. beliefs. And to set those aside mm -hmm. to just here are the facts, mm -hmm. here's what happened, which a lot of times we miss yeah. in, mm -hmm. in especially political news today. Mm -hmm. uh, now next year, you're going to go into the J program, yes. journalism program yes. at MU. Mm -hmm. And why do you want to do that? Um, well, the J school, it's been around since 1908 and it's the best journalism school in the country. And so um, why not? like further my education there and they have a great strategic communication program and that's what mm -hmm. I want to do and I think that'll really benefit me down the road going into politics so yeah because in the future you would like to do what with that program? um I want to work on campaigns and then continue working for whatever politician whatever office they hold okay and there were a couple of students that before we started filming were encouraging Rianda to become president one day are you going to do that? Is this, um, can we announce, like, officially Wildcat TV so many years ago? We'll, we'll see. When you, like, campaign in, in we'll 2030 see. or I whatever? I hope, but I'll let you guys know first so you can endorse me. You can be the, the well, first you, endorsements of me if I ever... You would allow Wildcat yeah, TV yeah. to be the first mm -hmm. to announce that you yes. are running for president. Yep. Okay. But, you know, and you were saying you don't want to be <laughs> president, but why, why do you want to work for maybe the White House someday? It's just... I don't know, it attracts me so much and I'm. my family always jokes that I wouldn't know what to do if I wasn't so busy and so politics is very 24 seven, late mm -hmm. nights in the office, you're constantly traveling, you have to, traveling, you have to be ready to pick it up and move to a different state and just working on the campaign trail for a year or two and then just working in the office those late nights, um, just working for the politician, it's very, I don't know, I just, I just am excited and like I wanna be a part of that, like I don't want some boring job I want it's constantly new and exciting and you never know what's gonna happen yeah that's awesome that's awesome so what advice would you have to future students whether Wildcat TV or, or otherwise don't procrastinate and for Wildcat TV always make sure to do your story ahead of time and don't wait till the last day to do it um, but just really enjoy your time in here I've been in, in it for a year but um, I still got to do inside politics before I was in the class my junior year and it's just you just your friendships grow with everyone and um, Mr. Marble he's just one of my role models and he gives great advice so if you ever need advice or if you're having a life crisis go to Mr. Marble. <laughs> well thank you I appreciate that what what is one of, besides inside, inside politics what is uh, one of the favorite things you've worked on in Waka TV? Um, I'd say, I don't know, I liked doing sports the one time I did it two yeah. weeks ago. <laughs> it was exciting and 
sports journalism is something different than what I want to do. I usually do mm -hmm. politics, so I liked doing that and um, researching all the sports teams and everything. Um, when, the one time I did anchors, I liked that too. That was definitely something new. Um, but yeah, those two things, I think. Do you have a favorite or one of your favorite memories from your Wildcat TV experience? Um, the Mizzou Journalism Day when we yeah. went to Mizzou and we got to do the workshops and I went to really great workshops there and expanded my knowledge and just made me more excited to go there in August. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much for what you brought to Wildcat TV. Um, you're one of the hardest working students in the school. You've done a great job with not only inside politics, but anything that you've done here. And if there's one thing we're certain of is that Rihanna Wenther is going to be very successful in whatever you do. So we appreciate that. Thank you, Mr. Marble. All right. Awkward hug number two. Here we, here we go. <laughs> okay, this next story. You were talking about advice earlier. You might want to take notes because it's all about lessons. Mm -hmm. All right? Deja, take it away. Hey, it's Deja. You may have figured it out by now, but high school isn't quite like the movies. Sorry if you were practicing. But don't worry. There's still prep work that can be done, and I've done it for you by serving my time. So if you're really curious, I've compiled a list of just a few lessons I learned in high school. Feel free to listen up, take notes, or don't because what do I know? I only spend 1,480 days in the place. Lesson number one. In a world full of cliques and groups and besties for the resties, alone is okay. I know it's tempting to want to find the puzzle with the missing piece that maybe you could complete and become a part of something cohesive. But consider this, you're complete on your own. Never try and break yourself apart to fit in somewhere else. Lesson number two, be very afraid. And no, I don't mean monsters in the closet afraid. I'm talking about trying things that make you uncomfortable because those things are catalysts for growth. I mean, can you believe I was afraid to join DECA? I was afraid to be in Wildcat TV. Sometimes I'm a little afraid of the goals I have now. That's what makes them worthwhile. If you're not even a little scared, you're not challenging yourself. And without challenge, there can come no change. Lesson number three, as much as I actively try to avoid them, relationships are a thing that happen and love is a thing that happens unexpectedly. But check this, you can love somebody for infinity if you please, but no one to cut them loose and love them from a distance. Because no matter how strongly you feel, no one deserves a free pass to remain in your life and treat you unfairly. You are worth so much more. Delete the number sis. And that's all I have to say about that. Lesson four. Talk to grown-ups, or at least one. They don't even have to be your parent, but having someone older to connect with often is helpful to say the least. They keep you grounded, hold you accountable, and offer knowledge that your years can't yet provide. Some of them are pretty cool too. Lesson five, be realistic. Don't strive for perfection because that, my friend, you will never attain. You do not need to pass every test. You do not need to be the best. You do not need to acquiesce to every request. It's okay to let yourself rest and breathe this is the youngest you will ever be no kids no spouse no payments to make on a house remember that when you start to take this teenage stuff a little too seriously lesson eight it's not the end of the world in fact it is just the beginning this planet makes up 0.0003 percent of the total mass in our solar system these four walls don't even scale in comparison to what else is out there allow yourself to be nurtured here recognize it as a nesting place a place preparing you to take flight. Whether you want to be here or not, you'll look back and you'll see how you've been shaped because a lot can happen and does happen in four years. That's what I learned. And I hope you learned something too. Thanks for listening. Signing off, I'm Deja Walters. Okay, now I've got Deja, the wise sage of Wildcat <laughs> TV. Thank you. Just gave us a whole bunch of awesome advice. And what, what advice do you have for us right now, in this moment? Um, I would say the what advice I have right now in this moment is to remain in the present moment. I think that's always a reminder that mm -hmm. we need to have. Remain in the present right now. moment. And in our present, we have Black Panther. Yes. You are a big Black Panther fan, I right? I am, I right? am. Right? What do you love about Black Panther? Um, the movie or him himself? I know what you like about him himself. <laughs> You always talk about how attractive he is. He is. But what about the movie? The movie, I just love the representation and how it was fantastical, but it still talked about something that I struggle with as a black person every day and I see in my community. So 
it was nice to see that talked about on a big screen um, where everyone was having these conversations, not just black people, but white people and everyone of all colors. And I just thought that was really dope to see. Yeah, absolutely. It was dope. Yes. <laughs> Can't say that. It doesn't work. Okay. <laughs> but no, uh, throughout the throughout the year, you've had a lot of, of deep segments. You know, I mean, you were talking just about Black Panther in, in a very deep way, and you had a lot of deep segments, um, Dream Chasers, uh, you had the Black History Month, um, Beyond the Books, and so what, what draws you to those kind of deep and, and thoughtful questions or, or, or segments that you put together? Mm -hmm. I think that's just me and my personality being a deep thinker. Um, I'm a creator, and when I create, I always create from a place of purpose. You know, why am I doing this? How can this help someone else? Um, or maybe even if the purpose is just to challenge myself to do something new. So if ever I can find something that combines all three of those elements, I'll definitely go for it each and every time. That's awesome. That's very inspiring. And I know you've been very inspirational, not only just to people in Wildcat TV, but um, to those out there that have, have watched a lot of those segments. Uh, so you have been one of our co-executive producers. Mm -hmm. What have you learned through that process, or what has been challenging about, about that, that role? Um, I think it was challenging just in a way anything new is, all, is always challenging. Like, it just pushes you to grow. Um, but I wouldn't even say it was hard or difficult or anything like that. And if anything, it was an honor. I just loved the trust that came from the crew that came with it. Um, I came into Wildcat TV as a baby, and now it kind of got it turned into my baby. And if ever there was anything I could have done to make it better or, like, help someone else out, like, I did it with excitement, even if it was hard or difficult. If I had to stay after till 6 o'clock, it, was, it wasn't hard. It was just something that I, I had to do, and I was willing to do it. That's awesome. What is one of the favorite things that you worked on in your time at Wildcat TV? Thinking back to last year, too, and, and this year. Definitely Black History Month be on the books. That was an all-time favorite thing I've ever done. Yeah, and that was something that we put together a couple of those um, into kind of a documentary, mm -hmm. and Deja was one of the first ever Wildcat TV students to get All-State in for that segment. Yeah, that was really exciting, and I was, I'm not even going to lie, like, I was super proud of myself just because of, you know, I stayed after school for weeks till six o'clock, like normally going home, and it's like the sun is setting or whatever. Janitors became cool with me because <laughs> they was not always the same time as me. But it was just something that was just so important for me to share, just because Black history is something that I hold really dearly to my heart. Um, just because I love to learn, um, but in history class, I'm expected to know like the inner working details of the Revolutionary War, even as far back as European feudalism. But if I want to know who Angela Davis was, or the Black Panther Party, or someone who's not Martin Luther King, I either um, I figure that out by myself, or go to college and get a major in that, and it's like, the history of black people is othered, so mm -hmm. I was really excited to be able to share that on a platform where everyone was watching, I feel like that should be something everyone should know about. Yeah, absolutely, it's, it's a great, I think, uh, tradition, now that you've started in Wildcat TV, that will continue. What has been your favorite Wildcat TV memory? Okay. Um, this was a harder one. I actually think my first, my favorite memory was actually the first day of school when the news came, just because, um, first of all, it was really exciting. I woke up at like five o'clock in the morning, um, and then I had to come here and I answered like one simple question on live TV, but I was so nervous. Um, and I think that just set the stage for the rest of the year, like what I would be doing and what I was willing to do. Um, it challenged me and made me nervous, um, and it got me excited for the rest of the year. And on top of that, it was just really cool to see um, our program be highlighted. Absolutely. Well, Deja, you have been an awesome member and leader for Wildcat TV. Uh, I've enjoyed getting to know you, having discussions with you, um, you know, when, when you were working on, on various segments, and um, you have definitely had a hand in not only what Wildcat TV is, but what Wildcat TV is going to be in the future, and I greatly appreciate that, and thank you for everything you've done for us. You're welcome. Thank you for just allowing me to have this experience. It's a highlight of my high school career. Okay, here. Give me a hug. All right. Sorry, I've, never, I've never hugged anyone before. <laughs> <laughs> well, on that note, we've got a few more interviews coming up right after this quick commercial break.
Mod Pizza is a Seattle-based store that offers a unique relaxed vibe. They offer a variety of drinks and are known for their wall of fame that showcases pictures from the community. Mod is a make-your-own pizza establishment that offers numerous toppings for your own personal pizza. If pizza isn't your thing, they also have many salads and milkshakes that will satisfy all your cravings. Not only is Mod the next Friday night hangout spot, but it uses an 800 degree oven that cooks in just a few minutes to perfection. Mod. Speed. Style. Pizza. Through all my years, I spent time at many different places. From preschool at St. John the Lawn, to preschool at my old aunt's house, to elementary school at John Nowlin. Go Knights. To the summers I spent at Centennial Pool. To middle school at Sunnyvale. And now, I'm finishing up my time at Blue Springs. But of all the places I've been, there is one relationship that I've formed that trumps all of that. Your relationship with all your friends in Wildcat TV? No, save that sappy story for Crisera. My room. Oh, hello. Welcome to my room. I know. Looks great, doesn't it? Let me give you a tour. Outside of my family, my room is my number one love in life. But there are a few flaws, so let me show you those first. Here we have my chair. It is a very old chair. It belonged to my grandmother. And then over here, we are literally missing something, a closet door. You might be wondering, how did it disappear? Well, let's just say, not one of my finer moments. But, I did try to fix it with whiteout. It did not work. Right here we got my dresser. Might seem a little tall to you, but remember, I'm 6'4". Now on top of the dresser, you might be wondering, What's this cup? Well, as you saw earlier, I like to play my Xbox, and you know, I gotta keep the controller powered at all times. So that's where I keep my batteries. Back there, we got some money. And then, you know, I tried to fix my door with this kind of stuff, but it didn't work. Probably should try the duct tape, but there's my whiteout and duct tape. In the back, you know, always gotta be prepared for emergencies just in case the power goes out. Got my flashlight, boom! I guess that's not working. But you know, maybe the uh, heat goes out and I need a fan. Well, don't worry. I guess that one's broken too. But the most important thing is this. Everything nice a person can say about you, right here to look at anytime you want. This is uh, what I got from Miss Wheeler my sophomore year. See, you probably got a chance to read it by now, but let me just go through some of my favorites. Uh, love your glasses, don't wear them anymore. Probably disappointed that person very much. Uh, great basketball player, used to be true, not anymore. I don't know who wrote a ladies man, but uh, that's definitely not true. So they probably didn't know me as well as they thought. Um, you are really something special. Now that was probably written by someone who really couldn't come up with anything but I, I really enjoy reading that. Um, no clue what DEET means, but I am the GOAT. Now here's my bed. It's a nice, nice big bed. 
you might be wondering, why is it up against the window? Well, really, to have this amazing setup, it kind of had to go there. I didn't really have anywhere else to put it. I wish I could just cut this bed in half because I got a mini fridge and a microwave, but nowhere to put it. So I just have to leave my room every once in a while. I'm sure by now you've noticed I've got a lot of Mizzou in my room. Well, that's my number two love behind my room. So let's just look at all my Mizzou stuff real quick. Got the license plate frame, a pennant, a poster, another pennant. Oh yes, this definitely isn't. I also like to collect some stuff, and I'm sure you've noticed a few knickknacks lying around here and there, so that's next. Got all my bobbleheads, got Tony G, Low Kane, Salvador Perez, Mike Moustakis there in the back, he's, he's, uh, he's kind of missing a hand though, so that's why he kind of hides. And then of course, good old Truman the Tiger, anybody? Now you guys might recognize this guy right here. This was Crisera's present to Cade at Christmas time uh, a couple years ago. Uh, Cade did not appreciate this, however, so uh, I stole it. Got some, me some more superhero stuff back here with Superman, Batman, and Spider-Man. My, my Batman impression was off, so let me try that again. Batman! Behind there we have little mule near Thor's weapon. This is uh, this uh, starred in uh, The Office Superhero Edition, where uh, Lady Thor was played by the one and only uh, Hannah Hoft. I was able to get this off of set. I uh, wish I could have got it autographed, but I couldn't. There's a uh, oh, focus, focus. There's a. Uh, Spider-Man figurine number one from the first time I went and saw Spider-Man Homecoming to Spider-Man figurine number two from the second time. Now, all my Spider-Man dolls and action figures and figurines, they probably don't feel so good, but give it about a year and I'm sure they'll be fine. Down here, we got some uh, Star Wars stuff, got me my BB-8 some cereal toys and then spider cats oh my sophomore year design fundamentals final now it's supposed to be a it might not look exactly like a cat when you look at it this way the neck's a little a little weird um, tails uh, had better days no, come on let's get it Oh. No! I'm sorry, Spider Cat. Got my, uh, my, uh, amiibos for my Nintendo Switch. And now that we're talking about the Switch, let's get into my gaming. Right here, I got my Nintendo 3DS to play Pokemon on. Love me some Pokemon. This is a part of the Wii U which uh, was a failed attempt to succeed the Wii. But then right here, we got the Nintendo Switch. Oh, handheld. Console. Magic. Home to the famous quick draw game. See, now it's up here. So cool. Of course, we got 
the X box. And then the other part of the Wii U. And this isn't gaming, but you know, it's an HD cable box, Xfinity. Gives me that nice television. I really never have to leave my room. And then finally, my laptop, 2,000 bucks. Play me some Overwatch. Browse the internet. Wow. Wow. You're probably thinking, wow, his room is amazing. Correct. But sadly, I'll have to say goodbye to my room when I head off to college. Just like I'll have to say goodbye to everyone here. Oh, wait, I don't really have a problem with saying goodbye to everyone here. I'm ready for that. But yeah, I'll have to say goodbye to my room. So I just like to spend these last few moments thinking about my room and how amazing it is. Wow, you must spend a lot of time in your room. I do, I really only have to leave to get food and come to school. And just come to school when you're like forced to? Yeah. Yeah. Well, when you did come to Wildcat TV, you did a lot of different things for us. Uh, you did stories on the eclipse. Uh, you did stories on pop culture. You did the changing tune segments. Um, you, for one of those segments, interviewed a former NFL player. Um, who's also a musician. Uh, you did sports. I mean, you did a lot of different things for Wildcat TV. So what, what, kind of, what kind of drew you towards wanting to do a lot of different things and not just like one type of segment? Well, it mainly came to what I found to be interesting. Like, I did sports, and that's just because I know all about sports. Like, for the BSHS Campus Crier, which I write for, I always write about sports. So mm -hmm. sports is easy. So anytime I wasn't feeling like there was any like real interesting I can like grab stories that's when I asked you like sports so sports was kind of easy mm -hmm. um, but then if there was ever like something big going on that I feel like I could have a fun time with like the eclipse I knew like when I saw the color run color colorful that kind of exploded in my mind I knew I could do mm -hmm. some stuff with that and then I really enjoy movies music so that's where I got in the pop culture so it really didn't have to do with me wanting to just brought out it's just if anything I thought was interesting and I could do a cool spin on or be able to give good information about while also having some fun with it that's what made me want to grab the story yeah and I think that is something that is definitely that those out there watching um, can definitely learn from all the different things that you did is to go after things you have an idea about something and you go after it and, and you do it you have a lot of a lot of creative segments going back to the sports thing you were very involved in our live streaming as well that we just started this year of live streaming uh, football games basketball games things like that um what what was that whole experience like live streaming kind of being in charge of that because you were the one in charge of it yeah it was interesting at first because like you said it was your it was our first year doing it and uh it was definitely a lot of work because i was running it and so i was kind of in charge of everyone and it was definitely really tough it was just four hours of constantly having to pay attention and I it really made me understand what like producers go through and stuff yeah I remember you saying when we were doing the kind of behind the scenes for that um, timeout segment that you said like you were downing like bottles of water because I mean you were sweating during the football game because you were having to constantly be in charge of all these different things yeah, yeah I'm always talking to every one of the camera people and having to make sure they're on the right spot at the right time and then I I have to tell them what to do and then I have to look and make sure that they're doing it because if I tell them to do something and I think they're going to do it but they don't, I can switch the camera and bam, you get a shot of an empty field. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think it says a lot about you that you know we trusted you to be the one to run that for the first time ever in our school's history. Uh, what was one of the favorite things that you worked on this year in Wildcat TV? 
Um, definitely, I mean, the Eclipse, I mean, I got the J-Day award on that. That was really fun to work on, but uh, the color run was really fun. In fact, I just did the color run at Sunnyvale last weekend, and it was a really great event. Mm -hmm. um, but that was really fun to work on, because I got to go back to uh, Paul Kinder and just seeing like old faces while I was there and getting to go around the school and then at the same time do all the stuff with the color and it is like running and I like I said I really enjoy sports and so it just kind of all blended into something that was really fun to do get out of here for part of a day and mm -hmm. just go relish in some memories and have fun at the same time doing what I love yeah that's awesome and, and you had mentioned the uh, the eclipse story that uh, just like Deja, you were the first, you two were the first uh, people in Wildcat TV to, to get basically a, the equivalent to an All-State Award. That was pretty cool. What did it feel like when you heard your name called um, for the story in, in, that you and Maddie had worked on? Yeah, um, I knew it was a good story, but we just do things so differently here in Wildcat TV, and they're so like uh, strict on like journalism. And so they were going through the awards, and when I got to like broadcast news feature, I was thinking, I was like, man, it would just be amazing if they called my name, but I didn't think they would. And I, I heard them, they said Brett Tymon, and I was like, wait, and I was like, oh wait, that's me. And everyone just kind of looked like, because I don't think anyone else expected anyone to win anything right. either. And so everyone was just like, we won something? And they all looked at me, and I was like, okay. Yeah, yeah, it was a very cool, very cool moment. What do you think, is, what, what is one of your favorite Wildcat TV memories? Definitely J-Day. JD. Going to Mizzou, like, I mean. You're going to Mizzou. If, I'm going if you to Mizzou. Hasn't noticed. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to Mizzou. I love Mizzou. And that day also, uh, I learned a lot that day. Like, I know a lot of people also had great memories there as a group, but I was kind of a lone wolf that day going to classes that I thought I could, would help me as a journalist. Mm -hmm. I went to some newspaper classes as well as video classes, and I took a lot away from that. I also got the award, and even though I wasn't with everyone walk at TV for most of the day, it was still a great trip. Yeah. Well, Brett, we want to, we want to uh, thank you for everything that you've done for Wildcat TV. Uh, I think the diversity and things that, that you went after, the, the vision you had for some of your pieces of just, I'm going to be creative and I've got this idea and I'm going to run with it, uh, you know, and taking some of those risks in some of your stories, I thought was really, really cool. Um, and so thank you for setting the bar high for future Wildcat TV members, and we've appreciated having you. Well, thank you for having me. All right. This is awkward, awkward bro hug. Let's bring it up. Here's the real thing. Okay. All right. Next up is Taryn and Garrett doing flips, flips and stuff. Yeet! Oh! Ah! That was a good one. We're going to cut. I'm Terrence Hill. And I'm Garrett Talamantos. And us being the most lazy seniors in Wildcat TV, we have no idea what to do, so I'm going to go ahead and teach you how to flip. Teach you how to flip. All right, so I'm here with Gary. And Those scrunchy fell off. Stop, pay attention, okay? Okay, so I'll try to teach him how to do a tuck. I can do one, kinda. Insert. <laughs> no, why, why would we do that? Come on, safety's not, Sa here? I don't know. No? Safe, safety's not a thing, so let's go. <laughs> don't try this at home, don't try this at home. Am I going for it now? Yeah, go. I'm kidding. No, stop, stop, stop. Oh, okay, okay. Like, all right. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, just like, just jump, jump straight up and down. Yeah, right now. Yeah, no. Just like jump. Yeah, go ahead, jump. Oh, did you see that? Did you see that extension? Go ahead and do that. Go ahead and do that again. That extension. Oh, oh, and the knees and everything. That's great. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Don't do it. <laughs> don't, don't. All right. Uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll spot him. I'm gonna go ahead and try to spot him. I think I'm ready to try one. I want you to spot me though, okay? Are you, are you sure? I think I'm ready to try one. I think I'm ready to try one. This is bad. Okay. Okay. Go. All right. Put the mic down. Do you know? Arms go up, right? Yeah. And then in? Yeah. Up and in. Yeah. I need to smack your knees. 
It's actually the same. Oh, no, come on. Don't you come on me? I'm gonna die. I'm gonna go that way. Go. Stop! I don't wanna hit you. You're fine. With my arms. You're fine. Three. Two. Oh! Hey! That was there! That was there! Hey, if, if, it, if this wasn't here, you would have landed it. No chance. I'm dead, dead serious. I didn't even touch you. I didn't even touch you. Oh! I looked down. That was bad. It's good. It's good though. Hey, I, I'm gonna move this. Tell! Hey. You are fine. Signing out for Wildcat TV. <laughs> oh god! Fair. <laughs> I, I barely even touched him. Fair. I literally just pulled his shirt. I barely touched him. I barely <laughs> did it! <laughs> Boy, I did not touch you. Terry, if you watch the video, you can see you the world. I, I, I pulled the shirt a little bit, but that was it. Let's do it. Nope. Here it. Nope. One more time. Nope. I'll do it. One more. You'll do it right now? Stand here. You're good. You're good. Yeah, you're good. You're mentally strong. I'm not. No, it's the mentally strong part that he doesn't have. He can do it by himself. I need you to stand there. Is this Eric, open? can I spot you for Is open? Can I spot you second? She's actually, she does it for a time. Yeah, like I work here. I work this here. This is my stature. Alright. Is that open? Alright, hey, 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 wait, 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 wait. Alright, make sure you look at this camera. So, since I can't spot very well, yeah, we got, we got Cheyenne Shepard here, also Hi. with Wildcat TV. Oh, you know who she is. Yeah, she works here, so. Okay. I can pull you now and then go swing. No, I'm gonna swing and then you're gonna Alright, Garrett. You got this. Alright, wait until you got it. Just do a flip, Garrett. Do a flip. Please do a flip. Do, do, do a flip. Do a flip. Hey. Hey, do a flip. Hey, do a flip. You did it the wrong time. <laughs> yeah. One more time. You're fine. You got this, Garrett. Come on. Oh. <laughs> I, love, I love how you didn't count that time. You just whipped it. I said, wait a minute. Oh, my God. That boy. Ah. You just got to stand up. You got this. No. Yeah. Hey. Oh. Hey. Hey. Uh, Garrett, come here. Oh. We would just like to thank Cheyenne Shepard for helping okay, him get okay. this tuck. Okay, all right. I didn't need you. Okay, okay. How do you, how does this make you feel that you got your tuck? About as good as I felt five seconds ago. So not that not that good. Um, so this is our senior episode, and we just want to thank you guys for letting us be a part of Wildcat TV. It was really a great time. We had a lot of fun. It's been and a good year. A lot of procrastination. So oh, that was cool. Okay. All right, ready? Signing out for Wildcat TV for the last time. I'm Terrence Still. And I'm Garrett Talmatez. One more, one more, one more. One more, one more. Hey, no! Hey! <laughs> that was really good! That was really good! Wow, you guys are quite the duo. We are, yes. Yeah, and you yeah. got it, you did it. I did, got my back foot. That's awesome. Learned it, and you taught him. Kinda. <laughs> what do you mean, kinda? Ah. Uh, Cheyenne had to do it because uh, I struggle myself. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we had a little, that's all right. So Sh Cheyenne's nodding. She's running the boom yeah. today. And, yeah. Yeah. So, but you, I mean, the main thing is, is that you got it. You did I it. did. Yeah. It's all that matters. That's impressive. That's yeah. impressive. Now, you guys are involved in a lot of different things other than Wildcat TV. Yeah. Taryn, you do, I do. sports. Yeah. You got football. You got cheerleading, which is, a, I mean, an interesting duo. What, why do you like being involved in those things? Uh, it's just like, it's really been like a team thing ever since I was little. Like I loved being in a team and like love being a part of like, I don't know, athletics. It's just fun for me. Yeah. And so in, and next year you're going to Iowa where, Western for, Iowa yeah. Western for yeah. cheerleading. Yeah. 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 It's That's really a good awesome. cheer school, so I'm excited. That's great. Yeah. And you have been involved in 
a lot of choir, theater, musicals, that right. sort of thing. Yeah. And so what what is drawn you to those things? Uh, I love being on stage, and I learned that a lot later in high school than I wish I had. I wish I had learned that sooner and done it from like freshman year on. But I mean, I learned it when I did, and I've had a blast that you know for the time that I've been in it. So yeah. So what's your all. what's your favorite? Uh, either choir performance or, or play, musical? Well, we had our Northern Lights performance, which mm -hmm. was like our, we had four shows, and that was like singing, dancing, kind of yeah. acting. And, and then, of course, the musical, too. And then most recently was our final spring concert of the year, which is our, you know, big emotions. Everybody's all sad. Everybody's, right. they're done after that. It's over, so. Yeah. Those three are pretty up there. Yeah. And for you, Taryn, what was one of your favorite um events or moments either either football or cheerleading uh probably going down to jamaica with the football team over the summer mm -hmm. that was a great experience like never never thought i'd have that kind of moment with my team it was really great yeah that's awesome okay so we heard your plans future plans yeah. um what plans you got um i'm gonna finish up gen eds here at a uh, mcc blue <laughs> river with my A plus hours, and That's then I'm gonna head on over to either UCM or Kansas City Art Institute to follow video and production. Really? That's so I'm kind of dropping off the choir thing, which is kind of sad, but That's right. you I get to follow. Yeah, in that yeah. In some on the side somewhere, I'll find. I'll find a choir somewhere. Oh, there you go. There you go. Now, for, for you guys, for each of you, what has been the favorite thing for Wildcat TV that you have worked on? I'll start with you. Honestly, I like. I just love it all. I, I don't really have a specific thing like. Mostly like little acting things I like the most because I, I have a problem talking like to a camera. Like I mess up all right the time. Right now are you very nervous? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I always like, I tried doing anchors and like that honestly was really fun, but I messed up so many times. You it's, might have the record for most film yeah. time you used <laughs> a lot for of, anchors. But it, it was A lot funny. of bloopers, yeah. But it was good. I, I enjoyed that a lot. That was fun for me. That's good, but I think you have fun with it. You don't take yourself too seriously. Yeah, no. And you know, we just have a good time. I, la I laughed so much that whole time. The bells. They already got us earlier in the show. Oh, goodness. All the time. <laughs> these bells. It's okay. That's all right. We just roll through it. It doesn't we matter. We just roll through it. Does it? Okay, so um, what was one of the favorite things that you worked on? Um, I know that there was a story over the holidays that we did, and someone posed the idea of holiday trivia to me, and at the I, like the sound of it, I didn't like it too much, and I you know I should you know showed that, and then I kind of like put my own little twist on it with like a little Santa walking around asking holiday questions and S sunglasses, sunglasses, <laughs> beard, the whole thing. Cool Santa. It was, yeah, <laughs> hype Santa walked around. And I made my own thing out of it, and uh, that I really enjoyed. So like putting my own little like twist on things, if you will. Mm -hmm. To each story to make it you know more enjoyable for me it was a uh, probably the best thing I took out of Wildcat TV. Yeah. Now besides just uh, things you've worked on, overall, what is one of your favorite memories in Wildcat TV? Start here first. Favorite memories of Wildcat TV. Uh, I really like going down to Mizzou because like that was like pulling the class out of the, the classroom mm -hmm. and like it's kind of a different environment. You really get to. I mean, of course, I know everybody in here, but like seeing people out of like the studio and thinking, oh, we have to do a story, oh, we have to do this and this, but just going down there and just experiencing what we want to and doing what we want to is, you know, brought the, to the group together more and probably, probably the best memory I have of us. Nice. What do you think? Uh, this is kind of bad, but playing Mafia with everybody. That's all right. <laughs> in the circle. They're probably fine answer. Like an off day. Well, we don't have very many off days, but when we do, we play Mafia. It's, it's a really fun game. and. That's probably the best memory. Everybody doesn't trust each other yeah, for a little Cassie bit. Lies. <laughs> Cassie Accusing lies. Cassie lies for the first time ever. <laughs> so, but she's over there like what? <laughs> <laughs> no, but those are fun memories of just those times where you've got the work done, and now we can kind of have fun yeah. and bond and that sort of thing. Yeah. So I, I understand where you're coming from. I understand where you come from. Well, guys, you guys have done a great job here in Wildcat TV. Um, been very creative. Uh, again. Um, bringing a good energy towards having fun, not taking yourself too seriously, um, but being able to enjoy things and, and stretch yourselves, which I think you guys have, have done over the course of your time here in Wildcat TV. So definitely going to miss you guys and wish you guys the best in the future. Now, all right, awkward. Hug you. <laughs> oh, oh, you guys. <laughs> right. Hey, hey. It's okay. It's my okay. hair. I didn't play so, with my hair. All right, what, uh, what do we got next? Summer. Summer? Summer. Hmm.
It's hammock time. Yeah, it's hammock time. Hammock time. What time is it? Hammock time. It's, it's our vacation. Now that it's summertime, we can finally go in hammock. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. Before you head out, you're going to need to pack some essentials. You're going to need water, a journal and a writing utensil, a book or two, a camera to take some awesome pictures with, portable chargers and a charging cable, and a sweatshirt just in case it gets chilly. You're also going to need comfy clothes and a friend to go with. Now that you have your hammock and the rest of your essentials, it's time for snacks. You're going to need to find the perfect location to set up your hammock. To set up your hammock, you're going to need to unroll it and find two trees that are a good distance apart from each other. Find the perfect height to set up your first rope. Make sure you're not over anything that's sharp or pointy. Make sure not to get your nails stuck in the clips. And when you're done, you can lay down and relax. Hope you guys have a great summer, and if you go hammocking, make sure to do it right. Signing off for Wildcat TV for the last time, I'm Annie Shearing. Yay! <laughs> Green light means go! That was an excellent how-to. I feel like I can go and relax now. You're welcome. Yeah. So do you have a hammock? Can we get a hammock in here, Wildcat TV, you think? Oh, yeah.
You would support you that? A, you can get a hammock anywhere. You can put it anywhere. Okay. Well, we're going we're gonna to do that. Well, I'm joined now, obviously, by Annie Shearing. Hello. Hi. And Annie, you're so <laughs> tall. You're so tall here right now. I'm sitting on oh, a box. Oh, she's standing on a box. You had to do that several times, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Well, that's all right. That's all right. <laughs> now, Annie, we talk about this all the time in Walk at TV, but yeah. you have this crazy family tradition in my classes, and it goes back even further than that. Yeah. Because I had your mom for AP yeah. Calc a long, long time ago, and then I had your sister in communications. Yep. And then we had Alex in Walk at TV. Yep. And now you. Yeah. Yeah. And so tell me about that. What does it mean to have that? family legacy here? I mean, it's pretty cool because my mom obviously worked here and she knows everybody, so I can kind of get away with stuff. But shh, what? What? But it's just a cool connection because I don't have that with like any other teacher that has also had all my siblings, so it's really cool. Yeah. yeah. So what would you say? Are you the are you the greatest shearing to ever be at Blue Springs High School? I mean, besides my mom, yes. Okay, so giving respect to mom, but brother and sister, you're oh yeah, way Both better them. than them. Way oh. better than them. Oh yeah. And you did the the um, polar plunge yeah. story better than your brother, right? Because you both did, I did that. Of course okay. I did it better. All right. Sorry, Alex. I, I I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I'm not sorry. There we go. <laughs> Throwing shade in the last episode. Why not? Uh, so Annie, tell me what we what is in store for Annie? Um, next year I'm going to Truman State for psychology. Truman State for Psychology. That's where I went. Oh my gosh. Another connection. This is amazing. <laughs> this is amazing. We're practically family. Oh yeah. Yeah. For sure. So why do you want to go into psychology? Um, I've just always had a real passion of to like why people behave the way that they do and the way that the brain is wired. So I really want to get into that. Okay. Yeah. So you can tell me what am I thinking right now? Is that part of psychology? I mean, I'm not kind of certified to tell you about yourself, so I can't do that. Okay. Okay, that's good. All right, very ethical. Um, what would you say is one of the favorite things that you've worked on in Wildcat TV? Um, I really liked the jazz band, the evening of jazz, mm -hmm. just because it was kind of outside of my box and not really what I usually do. I'm not just standing in front of a camera talking about it, so it was a little bit different, and I enjoyed it. Yeah, it was a creative advertisement, and lots of lots of cool shots, and they had that black and white effect and everything yeah. like that. So it was really cool. What would you say is one of your favorite memories in Wildcat TV? Oh gosh. I love it every year, just like all of us getting together and just talking about, well, our favorite memories and like how we've seen each other grow and it's just an emotional time, but a great time. Yeah, absolutely. And it wasn't that sometimes first semester last year you would uh, <laughs> try to curl up and hide and sleep in class? That was fun too. <laughs> yeah, talk about getting away with things. Yeah. Um, it, and it's shocking that you did a story on how to ham properly hammock. Yeah. It came full circle. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it came full circle. Well, thank you very much, Annie, for everything that you've meant for Wildcat TV. Yeah, um, of it's been really cool, personally, just to <clears throat> have your older siblings and then see you just continue in, in the great tradition of your family um, being a part of this school. Yeah. And it's something we're, we're definitely going to miss you. I'm going to miss you guys too. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Hug thing. Get over <laughs> here. All right. We have a lot more seniors coming up right after this quick commercial break. I remember when I started painting the Sistine Chapel, people thought it was crazy. They were like, Mikey, you can't spend four years painting a ceiling. And I was like, you can now. Just like this morning when I went to Chick-fil-A for breakfast, people were like, you can't eat chicken for breakfast. And I was like, you can now. Turns out the new egg white grill is delish. So you know who's not crazy? That guy. Chicken for breakfast. It's not as crazy as you think. Try the new egg white grill from Chick-fil-A. Hey Wildcats, Matt Mitchell down here at Culver's over on 7 Highway. If you're not in the neighborhood of the Blue Springs Culver's, feel free to visit us at our other location on Little Blue Parkway in Independence, just off I-70. That's right, two local Culver's restaurants just for you. We are approaching our 10th birthday. We've been serving this delicious food in Blue Springs for 10 years, and we just wanted to say thank you for supporting your locally owned hometown Culver's restaurant. Come enjoy some of that tasty stuff you just saw. See you at Culver's.
Hey Jags! Crap! Hey Wildcats! Welcome to another edition of Comcast... Hey Wildcats! Welcome to another edition of Wildcat TV on Dish... Dish? I'm Deja Walters. Hey Wildcats! Welcome to another edition of Wildcat TV on Comcast 15 and AT&T U-verse 99. I'm Cassie Pabst. And I'm Deja Walters. For our first story, we... Are you kidding me, Deja? You are wasting my time! I don't know what her problem is. How's the script coming? Great, I think it's the best one I've ever written. Good. You're always really reliable. Good job. Hey Wildcats, our track team did a really great job last week. Are you kidding me? Oh sure, Cassie, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to. You did that on purpose, didn't you? You are such a- I haven't left the room since. Who has Batman? I do. Hmm, that's funny. Because it says right here. What does it say, Annie? It says... It says Cassie! Is your name Cassie now? No. Is your middle name Cassie? No. But you know whose name is Cassie? Uh... Me! I'm Cassie! So I really just appreciated it next time you made sure you put your name on the list or I'll kill you! Oh, hey, Cat. Oh. Hey Wildcats, welcome to another edition of Wildcat TV. I got it. I think it's good. Are you sure? I mean, yeah. I, I triple check it. It's fine. It's fine. It's good. Okay. There's no sound. Are you kidding me, Taryn? You had one job! even triple checked. I used to be really close to her, but then the spotlight got to her. Hey Cassie, wanna hang out after school? Sorry I can't. I'm signing autographs in the PAC until five. Okay. I mean, who even wants an autograph picture of her? They didn't set up a table? That's weird. Did you need a ride? You know, she used to be a nice, quiet girl. But over the years, she just got... aggressive. Hey, Cassie. Nice hair. Hey, Cassie. I heard it got even worse when I left. I just sat in her chair just to see what she would do. She's not going to see this, is she? Good job on the episode this week. Oh, shut up. Maybe she's not as nice as I thought. Well, that was eye-opening. <laughs> so that's obviously that's obviously not how you're like in real life most of the time. Yeah, maybe sometimes. But. Yeah, sometimes. By the way, obviously we're joined by Cassie Paps, aka Catsy Paps, aka Lassie Paps, aka Cassandra. <laughs> so you have been one of the longest 
members of Wildcat TV, the longest active members of Wildcat TV. Yeah. So you were in here your sophomore year, second semester, mm -hmm. and then your junior year, and then your senior year. So what have you learned, if anything, through that whole experience? Um, it's just been crazy. Like, I looked back at my first episode and, like, how much I've transitioned. I've definitely stepped out of my shell a lot. Um, I think it was really good for me, though, just to help me gain confidence. And it obviously is very meaningful to me. I've been in it for a long time, so it's definitely has a big place in my heart. So, What, uh, what kind of changes have you seen in Wildcat TV? Because obviously you've seen it over the course of almost three years working behind the scenes and stuff like that. Yeah, it definitely has changed a lot. Like, not even just the studio, but, like, just the f the whole episodes, everything. It's just gotten... I think that we do a really good job of making it professional, but also, like, enjoyable to watch and, like, humorous and stuff. Like, we have those elements together. Um, whenever I started, it was a lot more, like, strict and stuff, and I've definitely gotten to get out of my shell more and... Um, make it more humorous and yeah it's, it's been really cool to see it evolve and transform into the thing that it is now and this year you served as co-executive producer with deja and so tell me a little bit about that what are some things that uh maybe you've learned from that experience or have been challenging as well with that whole you know responsibility yeah um so taking the leadership role is isn't always easy sometimes you have to like put your foot down and be like, and I'm not really like that most of the time. So, um, Deja and I, I think balanced each other out really well, though, and I think that we were a good team. And obviously, like it, it paid off, and it, like I think we bonded really well together, and it showed in the episodes and everything. So. Yeah, I agree. You, you all did a great job working together, and and also just a great job leading without. Um, leading without offending, which is sometimes a difficult thing to do. What is one of the favorite things that you've worked on or, or role you've played in Wildcat TV? Obviously, my favorite part was anchoring. I did that most of the time. Um, whenever I was a sophomore, I had just been reporting and stuff, and I decided, like, might as well try it out, and, like, I got hooked on it. I loved it ever since, and that was definitely my favorite part, and I want to do it in the future, so obviously <laughs> it was something important to me. Yeah, and there would always, when we would have our production meetings and we were picking out stories, Cassie would a lot of times just kind of hang back waiting for like, <laughs> okay, like, oh, oh, I'll anchor. Oh, sure, <laughs> sure, I'll anchor. You did that a couple times. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what is one of or some of your favorite Wildcat TV memories? Um, I just think like the bonds that I made with people like are ones that I'll never forget and um, looking back on my whole high school experience, some of my favorite memories are just the times that I got to spend with the people in this room. So, That's cool, and we have definitely enjoyed that. We thank you for your leadership, and I've known Cassie since she was <laughs> this tall um, because your mom worked with my parents at Brittany Hill, and so I've known you for a long time and I've seen you grow up, and so it's been really cool to, to see that from a different perspective other than just a teacher, but uh, thank you for everything you've done for Wildcat TV and how you've set us up to to just do some awesome things uh, next year through the leadership that, that you and, and Deja have shown, and so I really appreciate that. I'm definitely going to miss you. Miss you too. <laughs> <laughs> the awkward chair hug. Oh, do we stand? I don't know. Okay. What the okay. Heck? okay, well, now, one of these segments, you got some makeup put on you. I did. And so did several others of us. And I did too, mm. with Megan. And we'll take a look at how that went. Hey guys, today I will be doing the blind makeup challenge on a few of my classmates, like Cassie here. So let's get started. I dot it all over the canvas, the face. <laughs> okay, and then you go in with your sponge and you just dab it. Are they closed? Yep. I don't wanna poke you. And then you just, oh, Cassie, do a duck face, please. <laughs> I can't. With the cheekbones. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Why does this one say naked on it? <laughs> That's not appropriate. By Urban Decay. <laughs> just like a. <laughs> Close your eyes. Mm 
Looks like a, a black paintbrush that's small. Huh. Huh. <laughs> Possibly eyeliner. <laughs> oh, it's so weird though to this <laughs> Like this. I did it, but it? I can <laughs> tell you that I'm doing it. <laughs> oh, are you supposed to use primer first? Oh, Kazi! I feel like I, I feel pretty good about that. Yeah, that was pretty good. Cassie, you look so good. <laughs> I didn't see anything. Yes. Man. <laughs> I don't know anything about makeup. Super excited right? to get all glammed up. You were dead on. I was? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What in the world? I was like, where are you? Oh boy. I'm scared. This is, this is close scary. your eye, Cassie. They, they're close. Close your eye. They're close. <laughs> we didn't even use concealer either. Make it on the worst. This <laughs> lipstick. <laughs> oh. Okay, is this the black thing again? Yes. Maybe look we'll at your eyes. Okay. My eyes are like sweating. Your nose? <laughs> Can you do a duck face, Mr. Marble? Uh, what is that? Look at the cheekbones. Pretty? Yep. What does it look like? It says wicked and no angel and what what, what? kind of makeup what? do you have? <laughs> do I have to um, chicken face again? Yes. Boy. Do I close my eyes? Uh-huh. Yes. How's it look, guys? Does it look good? Okay. <laughs> I need some concealer. Oh. Where do you need it? Anywhere. Yeah. Here, Kaz's lips. lips. I just rub my finger on it. And there you have it. Here we have it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Like that. <laughs> You're auditioning for white chicks. <laughs> Signing off for Vlog at TV for the last time. I'm Megan Trent. That was some amazing makeup. Thank application. you. That was good. I kept it on the entire day. That's great. Yeah. What what prompted you to do that for your final story? Because it's hilarious. Um, I guess it was just something I've never done that throughout the school year. I was just did baking, but also I don't know if you guys knew that I'm like really into makeup. And I like watching YouTube, and that's just kind of like a little prank, little joke people do on it YouTube. It was fun, and you kept, every person you put lipstick on, you kept hitting oh, their shit. chin. Oh, shit, I know. <laughs> Did you not want to, like, hurt no, their mouth I was or something, like, or just... I just really thought I was actually getting their lips. How did you think that I had, like, hair on my lips like that? Well, because I didn't want to, like... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that was very funny. Well, Megan, you, and you're one of our students that are going to MU next year. Yeah, I'm really excited. Yeah, and are you thinking about the journalism program or? Yeah, it's definitely one of my options. I'm just not really sure yet. So. And that's all right. You don't have to be decided now. Most yeah. people change like six times anyway. I know. In so. college. Uh, and now another interesting fact, in case you didn't know this out there, was that your boyfriend is an anchor for JAG TV. Yeah. Over there. <laughs> Does that ever get like? Do you guys ever have like a little rivalry talk yeah, or anything like, like that? Yeah, I feel like we guys we always try to one up each other and like say like, well, we do this and we do this. So. Yeah, and which is better? Which was better? Obviously us. Obviously Wildcat TV. That's right. Um, no, but I think that is something that's pretty unique. We should have. I wish we would have been able to find a time where you guys could have like co-anchored some dual show or something. That would have like been that. fun. That would have been really cool. But the opportunity has passed us, <laughs> and that's all right. Now, what what is one of the favorite things that you've worked on for Wildcat TV? Probably my Halloween baking show, or my Valentine's Day. That was really fun too. Mm -hmm. Making like all of the treats and getting like a cute little setup and having like all my candles on the table, and it's really fun for me. Yeah, we did a really good job with that, and and gave everybody some tasty treats. They're yeah, simple everyone to do. ate them after, and it was fun. That was one of our favorite. Anytime that Megan was doing a cooking segment, <laughs> it was it was funny how you know when other people are shooting stories in here, then everybody's in there working. But when you're shooting your uh -huh. baking segments, then yeah. or cooking segments, then Everyone this room comes is in here. filled and like oh we just we just came here to support. 
making show. Um, what is one of your favorite memories of Wildcat TV? Probably sitting in here in the circle, all playing mafia together, laughing, getting mad at each other, lying. It's fun. That has been a common theme. <laughs> it is so much fun. Yeah, it is. I really like that game, and I've actually like taught it to my other classes. It's just so much fun. There you go, and we'll and we're probably gonna play that on the last day. Do you think we should? Yeah, looking forward to it. I hope so. Okay, good. What advice would you have for future students? Um, not for do not procrastinate. Okay. Plan your story. Um, really get to know the people in here because they're awesome, and I'm really gonna miss everybody. And Mr. Marvel, he's so nice, and he always listens to. My problems and gives me great advice. So. <laughs> well, I appreciate that. Uh, but you you have done a great job oh. here at Wildcat TV. You've brought a lot of energy. You're always smiling. Oh. Like all the time, right? Am I right? Yes. Everybody here? Yes. She's I smiling remember all the time. Austin Calvert last year, whenever he interviewed like all of the new people coming to Wildcat TV, he made fun of me because I was like this like the whole time. He's like, Why are you smiling? <laughs> That's good. You don't ever lose that. Yeah. Um, because you've got a Great personality, and it's been so much fun just seeing you grow and, and, oh, and get thanks, better Mr. at things. Marvel. So, thank you very much for being a part of Wildcat TV. Thanks for having me. All right. All right. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, we'll just leave it at that. There we go. All right. <laughs> okay, I'm joined now by Chris Sarah Johnson, who is mm -hmm. like the caregiver in Wildcat TV. <laughs> like, you're always so helpful to everybody. I try to be as helpful as I can and help as much as I can. That's just what I like to do. <laughs> yeah, well, you're always, Chris is always the one who is making sure, hey, you didn't get your story done. Hey, I'll help with that or I'll stay after or something like that. What do you, what do you think, uh, why, why, do you, why do you like that? <laughs> I don't, that's just like how I was raised. Like, I just, to be nice, like, I just, in my head, like, I've always thought, like, there's no reason to not, not be mean to anybody or, or to be mean to anybody. Oh. <laughs> um, but that's just like how I am. I just that's just how I am. I can't. Yeah. There's nothing else I can say. <laughs> well, what what has drawn you to Wildcat TV? Like, why did you want to get involved in this? You know, a couple years ago. Yes. Um, I think like I've always watched YouTube, and then like seeing it freshman year, um, walking through the cafeteria on the TVs, they always had it, and I was like, I want to do that. And then I'm down here. <laughs> now you're here. <laughs> now, now you're here. here. <laughs> and you've done a great job for us. What do you think are some of the things that you've learned from your time in Wildcat TV? Oh gosh, I've learned so much. I'm a completely different person than when I started Wildcat TV. I was a lot more shy and like reserved. And like Wildcat TV has just helped me so much. And not just necessarily like being on camera, but also like in real life, like talking to people, being able to like not be afraid to like go up and ask somebody a question. <laughs> like mm -hmm. just little things like that. Yeah. What do you think is one of the favorite things that you've worked on, or a couple things that you've worked on in Wildcat TV? Uh, going back to last year, uh, the Halloween special that we did. Because that was my first time like getting to go outside of school and hang out for like a class and get work done, but also like have a lot of fun. And I really, like that was just my first, first experience with like Wildcat TV and getting in with everybody, so it was really fun. And that was the episode where, what what happened at that episode? We all died, <laughs> basically. All died. yeah. Who <laughs> killed you? You did, you killed us all. Marvel. <laughs> no, but it, it was a fun episode. Yeah, it was, it was a great really episode. Fun. Anything from this year that stands out to you? Um, this year, probably. Hmm, that's actually really hard. I think just like helping other people is the most important. Like, just like to me, like all the little things matter the most. Like when someone's like, "Hey, Grisera, will you come look at my story?" Because like that means that like they actually value like what I had to say. And like I've never thought of that of myself. So like just hearing people like. You know, hey, will you help me? Like, that made me happy, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just that kind of stuff. <laughs> what do you think are, is one of your favorite memories of Wildcat TV? Um, Mafia. Like, any time we play it, ever. Especially on the it's bus. It's a game. It's a game. It's a game. It's, not, it's like <laughs> yes. a legit game. Especially on the bus back from J-Day in Columbia. Just, like, any time we play it, it's just such, a, like, a connecting um, experience. And it's just so, and it's just so incredible, like, learning how, like, people, like, think. Because I usually am the narrator in that game. If that doesn't make sense to you. It's okay. We don't it's have okay. time to explain yes. the game. But, so yeah. being the narrator and like just getting to see like how people act in certain situations, it's, I just love it. Yeah. And it's become one of Wildcat TV's like signature games. Like, yeah. Played it all the time. And played it on a bus coming back from yes. Columbia. Uh, the bus driver had to think we're crazy. She must have. We're screaming, <laughs> you're a liar. And all yes. Kind of stuff. And, yeah. 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 No, but that's good. 
Well, Chrisera, thank you for everything that you have brought to Wildcat TV. Um, you have done an amazing job just caring for everybody around you, um, always being there. You're somebody that everyone can always count on, um, and we really, really appreciate you. There's never, there was never a day, can anyone think of a day when, when Chrisera was like in just a bad mood and didn't want to talk to each other or <laughs> talk to anybody else? No, no, everybody here is shaking their head no. Um, so we just appreciate that spirit that you have and you put a lot of heart and soul into what you do and we've got another story yes your last story where yes. you want to set it up um it's just just get ready that's all i can really say it's there's gonna be a lot of tears get the tissues get the paper towels whatever you have to do because it's gonna be intense all right well thank you we're gonna take a look at that for a second all right, all right. here is chris sarah's wrap-up story Okay, thank you. I love you. I love you. Cry. I'm gonna cry. I'm just being here by myself crying. <laughs> hey, Wildcats. Specifically, Wildcat TV, because I don't think a lot of Wildcats actually watch this whole thing. So, we made it to my point. Hi, how are you? Uh, I'm Chris Sarah Johnson. I've been in Wildcat TV for two years, this year and last year. And so, I just decided that I'm gonna do a little like, sit down and talk to you. Wildcat TV members and say hi. It's completely unscripted. I'm gonna mess up a lot. I'm sorry, but I wanted to come from the heart. I wanted to just be on the spot, just telling you how it is and just things like that. So without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> Karen and I actually knew each other freshman year and uh, Taryn is one of the nicest people in the entire world. Almost too nice sometimes. And it's really great getting to know him over these last year and just keeping friends with an amazing person. He makes me laugh every day and I just, I'm so thankful to have him in my life. Annie, <laughs> this, Annie and I didn't like each other uh, at the start of last year from some previous drama. But anyways, Annie is an amazing person. I'm so happy that we set aside everything and that we're such good friends now. She's helped me through so much. I, she's my shoulder to cry on and she's an amazing person and it's been an amazing ride with her these last two years. We've been through a lot together but I know if anything goes on I've got Annie and that she will always be there for me and I'll always be there for her. She's an amazing person and she's taught me how to be so strong with myself. I wasn't very confident before getting into Wildcat TV and with her just being there for me, I'm just a much, much, a much stronger person because of her and I can't thank her enough for that. She has the kindest heart. She's such a kind person. She's secretly hilarious. Like. I don't think she knows it. She cracks me up. Like sometimes like we'll just be talking and then she'll say something and I'm like, Megan, like she just cracks me up. She's another person who's like there for everybody. And she'll always be there for you. She's a very, very strong person. Kind of quiet sometimes and a little shy, but don't let that fool you because she has a huge heart and she loves everybody and she will always be there for everybody. She's such a caring person. She really like looks out for people. Like she's one of those people where if something's going on, then she's the one that's like, guys, I got this, don't worry. You know, she's she's a very strong person. She's so creative. I think she doesn't know it yet. I think she doesn't she hasn't tapped into that part of her brain. She has a lot on her plate and she's able to balance it so great. Like if it was me trying to do this and this and this and this and this, I couldn't. I'd be like, I gotta drop everything and just go crack. <laughs> But she's such a strong person and she's so amazing and I cannot wait to see her next year and see how much she grows. She thinks about things so in depth. Like, she's able to pick apart every situation and see like how everything works and how um, everyone feels and how everyone's minds are thinking and all those kinds of things. And she's so smart. She is going big places like you'd be a fool to think anything else she's such a strong will and a strong heart and a strong mind which not all people have all three together you know and she's like the perfect balance of a person that she's gonna get stuff done she has it figured out and she cares about people and she wants what's best and she knows that there's a lot of obstacles that come along with getting that 
and she will leap over them and not even worry about it. Uh, another person that's like secretly hilarious and I don't think I think she knows it though because she cracks me up all the time like and her stories are great she's the most dedicated person I've ever seen like when she wants to get something done she gets it done and it's not just like after waiting a week and only like procrastinate and then I'll eventually get it done like she's like I want to do this I have an idea I want to get it done and she gets it done he's great she's a very strong person and she has a huge heart. She cares about everybody in here. And if you're upset, Gherkin's always wants to be like, hey, you okay, what's wrong? And she'll be there as a shoulder to cry on. She is a great person and she has a very big heart. From the beginning of the year to now, I can see the changes in her personality and how much stronger she's becoming. She is not afraid to step out of the box and put herself into situations where she knows she can improve them and make everything better. And she's a very strong, strong, strong person. I love her so much. She cracks me up. She's a great person and she works so hard. In Wildcat TV, she gets stuff done. She is such a hard worker and she is going to go so far in life. And I know that she is because of just the will that she has in herself and how she feels about herself. She is just at one. You know, a lot of people in high school, they're still struggling to figure out who they are. They're still struggling to figure out where they're gonna go. And maybe Deja doesn't have those things completely figured out, but she's way ahead of us on those things. She knows what she's gonna do and she's gonna get it done. He has such a deep understanding of everything he thinks about things so much like he's able to like determine like every possible way that you could go around something like let's say if you said okay let's do this he's gonna figure out every single way that you can to like step out of the box and to make it like more unique and creative and it's so amazing to have somebody like that in rocket tv that is able to think outside the lines to not be afraid to get a little messy and <laughs> to just be themselves and put out something really great all of his stories are so creative and amazing. Seeing that in a person is so inspiring and he's so forward thinking and it's just really cool. And it's really amazing to have somebody like that in Wildcat TV. She is an amazing person and she came in the middle semester last year and it's always a little shaky coming in the middle of the semester because, you know, people we've already been around for a semester, we all know each other, have relationships, and she just was like, it was like that missing puzzle piece. She fit in so well. I think we all just kind of have been shaping around her, like, aesthetic. <laughs> and she's such a beautiful person. And I cannot imagine spending, like, a whole year without even seeing her because that's what probably is going to happen at college. She's going to K-State. She is going to do so much in the world. And she is another person that has helped me through a lot. She's one of those people that I, I can talk to about anything and not be afraid of like her judging me or uh, being like, Chrisera, what are you talking about? Uh, but she also puts me in my place, you know? She's like, Chrisera, you need, you, you expect more of yourself. She and her and Annie are the two people I think that have helped me the most um, grow these past two years and just respect myself more and be a stronger person in general because these are two very strong people. They are not afraid of who they are. She is such a creative person and she has such a big heart for everybody. Even though she tries to act like she's got all the sass, <laughs> she is going places and she has such a strong will that she will take everybody down her path and she is going to do great, amazing things and I cannot wait to see it. This is what I'm gonna break me down. It is. Um, Garrett and I met in video one. We became friends. Garrett's like my brother. He is another person that has really, really helped me through a lot. I you know I can talk to him about anything. I have cried on his shoulder multiple times. And it's going to be really hard um, not seeing him 
I mean, we're still on like social media and all that, but not being able to talk to him on a daily basis, like face to face, can be really hard. He's so creative and funny, and he cracks me up. He says some of the stupidest things, but it's great. He is a very, very strong person, and he has helped me so much. Um, he's my brother, really thick through thick and thin, and he will always have my back, and I will always have his. And it's just, yeah, it's really sad. Bye, Garrett. I'm gonna miss you. Another really, really strong person. I'm so lucky lucky to be surrounded by all these strong women who, whether they realize it or not, I look up to everybody in this class. They all have these qualities that I just wish that I could possess. And Cassie's one of those amazingly strong people that she can make light of anything. And she's so strong in her faith, and she's so strong with who she is, and I really look up to who she is. I want to be Cassie Babs. Like, <laughs> She is so strong and so brave and smart, even though maybe she might not realize it. And I just, I really look up to her. And I really wish that, I really wish her the best. And I know that she's gonna go so far. And she is one of the most amazing people I know. And it's gonna be really hard to see her go. We've been through two years together. And last year it was us saying goodbye to the seniors. And this year it's us saying goodbye to the juniors and I don't know if I'm ready for it. Um, we became friends this year because of Lockout TV. Uh, this girl is amazing. And just like I've been saying about everybody, she's so strong. And she's so strong with who she is. And she's not afraid of who she is. And she's not afraid to let other people know who she is. Her and I became so close this year. And every day in this class, we will sit together and just talk about whatever's going on, and I trust her a lot. Um, I would tr I trust her my whole life, and it's, it's just good to know that she will be there for me. I'll always have her to talk to, and that she will always have me to talk to, and there's some friendships that we're friends in high school, and it's not gonna last, but I really think that Cheyenne, we're gonna be friends for a while, and I'll always be there for you. Girl, I love you, <laughs> and it's gonna be sad to see you go. Well for you to see me a go, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Um, Brett is a pretty, pretty funny guy. Um, he is also a very strong guy. Um, he works really hard in what he does, and he is another person where he just is so forward thinking and so creative, and he wants to do and whatever he does, he wants to make it the best. You know, he doesn't want to just be average. He wants to go above, and he wants to do his hardest, and he tries his hardest, and that really shows. It shows through his work, through his stories, just through everything that he does, that he's, he wants to constantly make whatever he's doing better, and he wants to make himself better. And there's not a lot of people that, they just, people that just want to be better. There's a lot of people that just want to do the minimum, or just they're content with being average, but Brett is not one of those people. He wants to be better, he wants to better himself, and he wants to better those around him. He doesn't want to just stand out, he wants everyone to stand out, he wants everyone to be strong, he wants everyone to be better than what they are, because he, I think he knows that everyone, everyone can be better. And that's really great, to have people like just hold everyone accountable and to a higher standard than just the average. That's really good. These two girls are so strong. They are the youngest in the groups, um, but they are, when I look at them, I see the future of Wildcat TV. And I see the legacy that my friends have left behind and that we're leaving behind this year. And I know that Wildcat TV is going to continue to get better and better, and that these girls are the foundation for next year and the year after of just making Wildcat TV better than it is and that they're really going to work hard to make sure that people are doing their best. They're going to help out in whatever way they can and it's really incredible just seeing what I'm leaving behind and what we've left behind together as a class and know that those are memories that they're going to have and a legacy that they get to continue.
the best teacher you could ever ask for, and I'm not just saying that because I'm in Wildcat TV. You can ask all the football players, you can ask everybody. He is such a good person, and he cares so much about us students that it's amazing. There's not a lot of teachers that are willing to talk to their, I mean, everyone's willing to talk to their students, but willing to talk to the students about things that are going on, about things that are happening in the world, and just be able to be there for us and he works so hard to make sure that we're doing our best and that we are being our best. He really puts all on this high, he really holds high standards for us, but that's because he knows we can do it. He truly knows that we can always, we should always do our best and that we can always do better. And he's gonna help us no matter what. He's a teacher that when I come back here next year, because I know I am, he's going to be the first room that I go to, the first teacher that I go to. I think on behalf of all Wildcat TV, I can say that we all love Marble so much, and he cares for us so much, and it's just great to have that relationship with the teacher that goes so far that they'll help you in the, your own life, and you may not even realize it. Um, it's been a wild <laughs> past two years saying goodbye last year to the seniors, and now saying goodbye to my friends that are seniors is just insane. And it's almost hard to believe. And it's gonna be tough. But I just wanna have my little moment and just say that I know you all can do incredible things. And I love you all so much. Uh, high school is probably, everyone says the hardest time in your lives, but Wildcat TV has made it so much better. Wildcat TV has helped me so much as a person to become better than I am and to be okay with who I am and to be strong. And I thank you all so much for being there for me and for helping me through everything. High school is a tough time for everybody and I will, it, it was never a great day. It was always fun, it was always amazing. I will never forget Mafia or hanging out at Annie's Lake House or <laughs> going to Mizzou or any of these things that we've done and it's just incredible. It's really incredible to be surrounded by this many amazing people and know that I can call them family. They're all my brothers, they're all my sisters and I will always have your guys' back no matter what and you know that. If you ever need anything, I've got you and I know, I know that you've got me and I love you all so much. It's so sad to see you go and I don't know what I'm gonna do without you guys. It's, it's my own little support system that I've built and saying goodbye is gonna be really hard. It's gonna be really hard, but like I said, I've still got you. I think that Logit TV has made me such a stronger person that moving forward, I'm not scared. I know who I am and I know how to be strong in myself and I thank you guys so much for helping me be me and it's hard to say these things to your face. It's way easier to say it to your camera, and I love you guys so much. Thank you for being there for me, and thank you so much. I can't say it enough. Signing off for Wildcat TV for the final time, I'm Chrisera Johnson. That's it for this week's episode. Thanks for watching, and for our final time, It's a great day to be a wildcat.